Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Jeffers. This is my wife, Tiffany Jeffers, and we just wanted to share a little bit with you about how Faster EFT and Utaptics has really uh, changed and, and revolutionized our relationship, our marriage, um, as well as both of our, our lives. And so I'll, I'll, um, I'll have Tiffany share a little bit. <laughs> Hi. So uh, I came to Faster EFT about four years ago and one month. And it's just been simply amazing. I went desperate and really sick and with a lot of childhood trauma and even some military trauma and uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I was able to work with Robert Smith. He tapped on me uh, when I went to a transformational weekend in Oklahoma in October of, well, four years ago. And I literally went desperate and like kind of like, if this doesn't work, like I'm going to either kill myself or like I just, I just felt like it was horrible for me to have to keep living with severe pain and a lot of health problems couldn't sleep a lot of you know food allergies all this stuff I, I just couldn't do it anymore I had to do chemotherapy I had a tumor all this stuff I had a lot of fears so I went to Faster EFT and Utaptics and well at the time it was just Faster EFT but I went there and I was tapped on by Robert in the chair and my pain went away and I, for the first time, was able to see, like, wow, my pain went away. Like, that is amazing. And yeah. to see how my pain or see how my thoughts impacted what was happening within my body. And so I worked on a lot of traumatic memories, just being honest. And it was power. It was empowering. I came home a different woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. Uh, one, to hear... Uh, on a telephone call that that you know Tiffany that the pain had gone away that she she worked with Robert and and was tapped on and she was praying that that would happen the whole time and 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 she was like it, it did and you know first first thought I was I was like okay really um, you know maybe a little little skeptical a little doubtful but um, all doubts were were completely removed uh, when Tiffany came home and and um, just to see the the changes within her. Um, to see how healthy she was, how vibrant, um, you know, how strong, um, energetic, and you know, throughout you know, throughout those first few weeks after, you know, her 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 getting back to to see her be able to uh, to sleep through the night, to be able to to wake up early, to to get out of bed, uh, to to even exercise and and, and start um, even getting more healthy and and working around the house and um, you know, it was it was it was just a complete. A transformation and and there was no doubt in my mind that, that she was a, a completely different woman and uh, but the even more amazing thing was that she wasn't really satisfied with just that 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 she knew that there was a lot more uh, healing that, that, that she needed to go through and, and she really went after it and you know at that point I was in I was sold um, at least for her <laughs> for her at first that hey if this you know, the more you do this, the better the better you're getting, and and so you know, do what do whatever you need to do, and um, you know, go to the level one, level two, level three uh, trainings, and go um, and continue to work on yourself, and and not only that, was she able to um, you know, work on herself, but then she was able to to really start working on other people, and she she was charismatic, she was a fast EFT evangelist, and. Um, of course, she first started working working on on myself um, and using mm -hmm. me as as kind of the guinea pig. Uh, but uh, soon she she was working on everyone she could, anybody who would who was willing. Um, and it was just it was just amazing because um, really it was it was a, a, a brand new wife, um, you know that I had and 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 to see how powerful this was because it wasn't just wasn't just the the physical or the the health issues that. Those were powerful, um, but my wife also had, had a lot of phobias, a lot of fears, and, and one of which was a fear of knives. And you know, mm -hmm. if you live in a house and you like to cook, and you have to have knives, right? But for for years, my wife would go to the thrift store and yeah. buy <laughs> knife sets that were dull, that were completely dulled out, and you know that that weren't sharp. So imagine trying to cook. <laughs> <laughs> with with dull knives, it, it was interesting. It was funny, but 
you know, through through the years and 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 working with other practitioners and, and working on this, and she's like, I got to work on this. I gotta, I gotta work on my fear with knives. And and sure enough, uh, she worked on it. And next thing you know, she's she's um, you know chopping up watermelons, uh, you know, with a meat cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know. I- I ended up getting so sick that when I would walk into the kitchen, I would spin for hours at a time and I couldn't figure out how to make a bowl of cereal, just being honest. And it would take me till about 2 p.m. to figure out my breakfast. So when at my my sickest point and I had no idea what was driving that or whatever, because I was like, why am I having such a hard time in the kitchen? Well, I had a lot of, you know, hard memories that happened in the kitchen. One of the big ones was there was a big, one of my first memories is a person was when I was three and it was actually a story that was told to me. I really don't even know if I was there, but it was a violent exchange between my my parents and eventually knives got involved. And so I made the link that knives meant death. And uh, so anyways, fast forward, here I am, we're married and we're in Virginia Beach and I was like, I don't want to use knives. So I refused to buy certain vegetables or things that just needed to be cut. My husband's He's a really great chef, and he's a scientist, but he's also a (laughs) scientist in the kitchen. Oh, I love it. And his family's in the restaurant business, so he loved cooking, but I didn't want to have good knives because I was afraid of them. So eventually I was very brave, and I went to the thrift store, and I bought these really dull knives, and I put them in the kitchen underneath the sink, and I locked the sink thing because I wanted them away. So, but then I think... I don't know if that caused me to spin in the kitchen and not be able to figure out what to do because I was so freaked out when I would go in there or whatever. But eventually when I was at Fast of Tea, I thought, well, I'm clearing up all these other things. I might as well not be afraid of anything. Mm. And so then I was like, okay, definitely need to address the fear of knives. I literally only did two, I think only two sessions on knives. That's it. Two sessions. That's it. And cleared up a lifelong, you know, 30, I think at that point, you know, 36 ish, seven year fear of knives, you Mm. know? And so that was just amazing to me. And so one of the practitioners when I was working with her, she said, put them on the counter. And I was like, you're crazy, not putting these things on the counter. I put them on the counter. I eventually, you know, we started eating, uh, you know, we were eating pretty healthy food, but I couldn't. It was hard to cut it because you know, I had to cut it. But anyway, so then once I overcame the fear with the fast EFT, then I mean, I'm taking a watermelon out and I'm whacking it with a meat cleaver because I just thought, well, this is just fast and easy. So I can whack, 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 you know, get the watermelon completely mm. done in, you know, a minute. And yeah, so like now I'm cutting everything and even, um, you know, our, our children you know, this was really funny. So I was on with a practitioner, one of my mentors, and she was like, we were going to do a session. And really quick, my kids in the background said, mommy, we got a package. And I said, okay, great. (laughs) You know, got a package from grandma. I said, great. I said, open it up with the butter knife, you know? And she was like, (laughs) you know, she was just like in shock. And I was like, what? And she was like, apex you know she was like you totally forgot the original like fear and I was like what are you talking about she's like you just told them to get a butter knife to open up I was like wow you know so even our kids they are um our son just turned 10 and our daughter's almost 14 but they actually use knives now which is huge for me because that would have never happened before so yeah they help with cooking and everything too yeah I I think the key to the key to every great relationship is 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 really your relationship with yourself and and you know, coming to peace with and loving you know, who you are and we can't love others until we love ourselves we can't love our kids mm-hmm. until we love ourselves we can't love our wives until we love ourselves and um, you know until until we realize that until we work on those things that that fight against us from loving ourselves the things that cause us to look down on ourselves and to to hate ourselves that you know that our relationships will never get better and. But there's hope, and that's the the, the greatest thing um, there is, is is to have hope that that mm-hmm. the future can be better. And um, I think we're we're proof that that's true. It's yeah. there. It can happen. I urge you uh, to give faster EFT and you tap six a try. Uh, just tap. Uh, just start now. Watch a video. Go to YouTube. Uh, look up Robert Smith. Um, 
watch, watch some videos, start tapping on yourself, and you'll see the changes. It'll change your life. It'll change all your relationships um, and make you a better person. Mm-hmm.